Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus once more. The Lord bless each and every one of us for joining for in Jesus' name. The Lord sent me to warn you that this person is coming to say yes to you. Hallelujah. I'm going to take this prophetic title again. I am here with a word of warning from the Lord that you should be very careful. This person is coming to say yes to you for in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Lord gave me this particular prophetic word for someone, and this is a much watched prophetic word. This is something you need to hear, something you need to know, something you need to do, something you need to stick on. A decision you have to make as it's lying right now in the name of Jesus. And the moment the Lord gave me this particular prophetic word, I saw someone coming, Praise Master Jesus, saying yes to you, not with good heart. Hallelujah. And this particular person already gave you a word, no. And right now, this person is stranded, this person is tied, this person is blocked, and the only way out is you. So they are coming to say yes to you just because they need something from you in the name of Jesus. I pray for each and every one of us, wherever we are watching or connecting, that as we join this prophetic word tonight at the end, testimony for in Jesus' mighty name. If this is your first time, you're very much welcome, family, and this is prophetic blessings with your man of God. By the special grace of God, the Lord has been helping me to be here with God's word every day. Become part of this great family who believe in God's word, demonstration of God's power. Matthew 7, 7 said together, if we ask and we shall resist seek and we shall find knock and the door shall be open. Can we do well to subscribe and like and share for in Jesus' mighty name. So in today's prophetic word title, the Lord gave me this particular scripture, James chapter 5 verse 12. The Lord gave me this scripture, hallelujah, back in this prophetic word, James chapter 5, verse 12. I read in the name of Jesus. Verse 12 says, Above all, my brothers and sisters, do not swear, not by heaven, nor by earth, or by anything else. All you need to say is simple yes or no, otherwise you will be condemned. Do not swear. By anything on earth or here, do not swear to make to prove yourself right to people. Then the Bible is saying you will be condemned in the decision that you're taking. Simple say yes or no. Hallelujah. I want us to look between this yes and no. Yes might sound very easy when you're telling someone yes. No might sound very easy, but these words are key. I quite remember so many years back what in our past when I personally I was growing as a young boy in in my groups of young boys like in the when I was still at the age of between the range of 16 to 20 years like I started hearing some of my friends saying get friends get friends get friends I was like what is this what the hell like they, they said this is my girlfriend this is my girlfriend I thought that this is another world because I, I was so, so super happy, uh, uh, I mean angry. Then one day, like, there was a guy that, that was about 18 years. This guy came and this guy started saying, this is my girlfriend. My girlfriend, I was like, at your age, already have a girlfriend. Like, oh my God. Then, they, they, then this my friend, they started advising me saying, I know at least you also need a, a girlfriend. Then I was telling them that. Even if I desire having a girlfriend, I don't know how to approach or talk to a woman. Like I didn't have the courage or something like this. Like that then, one guy came and this guy was telling me that no, don't worry. We are going to teach you that I'll be coming to, 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 to this guy's house every day like for 30 minute lecture. Like the guy will lecture me how to talk to a woman. Then the first day I went, the guy was telling me next time when you meet a girl, this is how you are going to stop the gear. When we stop the gear, use this word, say like this, say like this, say like this. Like I was surprised. So they made me to understand something that, like for a woman to fall in love with you, you must know some sweet word to convince and package the woman. So one time as they were giving me all those type of useless, useless mindset of all those things, one time I went and talked to, to a lady. So the guy told me that I should make sure that whenever I'm talking to, to a woman, I should insist that the woman should say yes or no. Like, do you love me? If the woman say yes, uh -huh, if, if she said no. So that means for me, I grew up with that mindset of which if I'm in love with a woman, 
no matter how we discuss, no matter how we talk, if our conclusion does not end with yes or no, I will not know where you belong. So one day I was trying to talk to 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 one lady also, like I was trying to repeat the word that they, they, that they were teaching me. At the end of the, the discussion, then I told the lady, do you love me? The lady said, I love you so much. I said, ah, this one, I love you so much. Like, I, I was just expecting to hear yes or no. Praise Master Jesus. I told the lady, no, just answer me yes or no. The lady said, yes. I was going back very happy because I know she said yes to me. So just that yes alone, hallelujah, even if she was lying, it gave me a confidence. My mindset was transformed. Like I was so, so super happy for the decision. So now, you don't need to swear to make people see that you are saying the truth or you are taking the right decision. What you actually need to do is to stand on your word. Speak, stand on your word as a man, as a woman. So the Bible is saying in the book of James chapter 5 verse 12 that we should stand on our word. Yes or no. There are decisions that I, I was just using this as an example to, to let us know that just the yes of a woman to a man, hallelujah, is already an agreement in the realms of the spirit. A yes from a man to a woman is an agreement in the realms of the spirit. So the Lord is speaking to us through this particular prophetic word that the decisions we make matters. The things we agree matters. What we tell people matters. There are ladies that are in trouble today just because they just say yes to a man that was not their own tears. There are people today that has missed their destiny helper just because they say yes to somebody that was not from them. So the prophetic world today is coming to, to someone as a warning that there is someone that is coming to say yes to you, which they yes, hallelujah, has a particular deep message behind. Praise Master Jesus. Like, I've also seen a situation whereby a guy would date a woman, date a woman, and that lady would say no, sincerely from her heart. She'll say no because she don't want to lie. She don't love the guy. Then along the line, maybe the guy has something that this lady needs. Then this lady has no choice rather than coming to say yes to, to the guy. So at this particular point of time, the yes of this lady is not coming because of love. The yes is coming because she needs something from this guy. And only to uh, only like if this guy is not sensitive enough and, and deep, he will not be able to understand that this yes is not coming, hallelujah, from the heart of this woman. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to let us know that maybe you're watching me here, that you know that there is something that you went and they say no. Now they are coming to say yes. The Lord is putting a question mark that you must be very careful in the name of Jesus. Whenever a woman rejects you and comes back, know that there is something wrong. Whenever a man rejects you and comes back, know that something is definitely wrong and i want us to know that our yes is so powerful know that the yes that you stand on praise master jesus you would definitely be, be, be in church on that yes what was your yes for hallelujah a lot of us accepted yes to carry the mantle to save god to do the will of god but at the end we say no a lot of us accepted to say yes on something at the end we say no but i have come to speak to someone under the sound of my voice in the name that is above every other name that whatever thing that has been on your way in no today may it begin to speak at yes anything that is yes oh my god from the pit of hell just to just to bring you down will begin to come against it for in jesus mighty name Amen and amen. May the Lord bless each and every one of us once more again for joining for in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you all family. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for liking, for sharing, and for subscribing for in Jesus' name.